Hi, in this video we're going to do an example where we're looking at uh, interest uh, payments at certain times that are given. Let's jump in right into the example. You'll see what I mean. Um, I've got a three-year loan of 50000 is re being repaid with level monthly payments. The amount of interest paid in the 21st payment is 1.96 times the amount of interest paid in the 29th payment. And the question is to determine the amount of the monthly payments. Okay, so let's look at the second sentence uh, and try to write that mathematically. The amount of interest paid in the 21st payment, that's what we symbolically represent by cap I sub 21. So I got cap I sub 21 equals 1.96 times a cap I sub 29. Now think about how you calculate these cap I values. For instance, cap I sub 21, the way we would compute that is we would look at the balance at time 20 and then multiply that by the interest rate I. So I got an I times cap B sub 20 for the left hand side. Right hand side I'd have a 1.96 cap I sub 29. The, the interest in the 29th payment I would calculate by taking the balance at time 28 and multiplying that by the interest rate I. And notice that the interest rates I's cancel off here so I've got a, a corresponding equation with balances now. Uh, now instead of the subscripts being 21, 29, the balance subscripts are at times 20 and 28. Now, if we look at uh, these balances at time 20 and the balance at time 28, we could do this prospectively. I've got level monthly payments. So it makes it a little bit easier. So level monthly payments prospectively, for instance, at time 20, I've got 36 total payments. A three-year loan with monthly payments is 36 total payments. Just after the 20th payment, I've got 16 more payments to make. So the balance at time 20 would be the present value of those 16 payments. I'll use capital C as the amount of the payment. So I get cap B sub 20 is cap C times an A angle 16. And likewise, the cap B sub 28, I've got eight more payments to make there. So the cap B sub 28 will be the present value of those eight payments, a cap C times an A angle 8. And when I substitute those expressions in uh, for the cap B sub 20 and the cap B sub 28 and the above in the line above, uh, I'll see that oh the C's will cancel off and I and and I've get this equation that cap I'm sorry that A angle 16 then is a 1.96 times an A angle 8. What's going to make this all work is that I've I've got based on the information given to me in the problem, I've got this relationship between a cap A, I'm sorry, I've got this relationship between an A angle 16 and an A angle 8. But I've got another relationship, a more general relationship between an A angle 16 and an A angle 8. This goes back to the module 2 stuff that we used, that we were doing uh, with annuities. Uh, with an A angle 2 in and an A angle in. For instance, the A angle 16 is present value of, of, of uh, 16 payments of 1. Well, I could group that into the first 8 payments of 1 and then the second 8 payments of 1. And I see that an A angle 16 is an A angle 8 times a 1 plus V to the A. So comparing these last two equations, you can see then that the 1 plus v to the eighth there must be the 1.96. Um, and then that's going to give me the v to the eighth is 0 0.96. And from here, I can get what the interest rate i is. The, the, the i value here would be what the monthly effective interest rate. And so the uh, v to the eighth, of course, is one plus i to the negative eight power. Solve that for i, and you get that the i value that corresponds to v to the eighth being 0.96, the i value is a 0 0.0051 number. And then I've got all the information then to calculate what the amount of the monthly payments are. I've got a loan of 50,000, so the 50,000 has to be the present value of those 36 payments. Uh, of cap C. So I get this equation 50,000 equals a cap C times an A angle 36 at that interest rate I. And I uh, just use the TVM buttons and we'll get what the, uh, what the amount of the payments are. The monthly payments are 1524.25. One comment before I end the video is that this, uh, the second line there, they related uh, they, they gave me this information that relates the amount of interest with the, in the 21st payment and the 29th payment. Uh, those are not 20, the 21st and the 29th. Those are not just random numbers there. They can't just give you random values there. They have to give you some information there so that your, your, your equation 
um, your equation relates then like an A angle 2N with an A angle N. Uh, if they would have said a 30th payment, uh, 1.96 times the amount of interest in the 30th payment, uh, the 30th pay that, that would have been a cap ice of 30. So the next line there, the corresponding equation in the, in the next line with balances, I would have had a cap B sub 29. And with a cap B sub 29, let me think about that. A cap B sub 29, uh, after the 29th payment, I got 36. I'd have seven more payments. I'd have a, a cap C times an A angle 7 is what a cap B sub 29 would be. And then I can't relate an A angle 16 with an A angle 7. It, it, it's, just, it's just not going to work. So they have to, they can't just can't give you random numbers there. They're going to have to give you uh, certain values like 21 and 29 in this problem. Values that, uh, so that your resulting equations, you get an A angle 2N with an, with an A angle N. Okay, so uh, uh, that's, this is, you'll, you'll see several problems like this in your study of this material, and uh, this is the way to attack these type problems. All right, I'll see you in the next video.